Catholic Church's stance on reproductive choice has been what you might call unyielding. In 2004, the Pope struck out and said that pro-choice Catholic politicians like then-presidential candidate John Kerry should be denied communion. Even birth control is too much for Pope Benedict, formerly known by the nickname God's Rottweiler. Reality, though, has a way of making even Rottweilers flinch. Now facing flagging attendance and shrinking contributions, some of that hardlining is going soft, we hear. Given the chance to fill some empty pews by allowing conservative Anglicans into the ranks, the Catholic Church is maybe backing off a bit. Those conservative Anglicans are disaffected by their own church's more liberal stances on things like contraception, gay rights, and heaven's women's rights. But they're not about to excommunicate pro-choice presidential candidates, at least not yet. So suddenly Rome is willing to do as Anglicans do and call debate over reproductive rights a simple difference of opinion. Heck, they're even willing to create loopholes to let marriage Married clergy stay married. Fancy that. So what about all those fights over all those years? What about all those denied a place in their faith? And most of all, those who died due to botched and politicized abortions? What of all those who were forced to bear children against their will or infected with HIV due to lies about condoms or no sex ed? Now we find out they were simply suffering over a difference of opinion? Now, one anti-choice that quoted on the topic recently celebrated Anglicans, he said, are committing doctrinal suicide. So maybe there's not so much openness going on as flat-out pragmatics. On the other hand, RH Reality Check notes that half the worldwide members of the Anglican Church live in Africa, where conservative Anglican clergy preach against condoms, homosexuality, and women's choice. Maybe it's less of a split than we'd like to think. So much for the Reformation, all conservative Anglicans need is bishops back. Just don't mention divorce. <laughs>